This may look like your average Barbie doll, but the Utah Cold Case Coalition says it may be the clue they've been looking for to crack a 23-year-old cold case. So I'm hoping the Lord will let me live until we find the person who took my daughter. Rosie Tapia was six years old when she was kidnapped from this Salt Lake City apartment and sexually assaulted back in August of 1995. Her body was found several hours later in a canal off the Jordan River. A few days after Rosie's passing, there was items that were left on her gravesite. Um, so I just gathered them up and took them home. One of those items was a Barbie doll. Coalition members say they have reasons to believe this may be a valuable clue, but did not share what those were. It's a Sweetheart's Barbie that was uh, manufactured in 1994. They did say that two possible persons of interest have been identified who had some fixation with Barbies. And Francine Bardol with West Jordan Police says they are using a new cutting edge DNA extraction method on the doll. In this. Uh, buffer solution are the skin cells from those who have touched the evidence. But coalition members say DNA analysis is expensive for the nonprofit and are asking for the public's help. If somebody will come forward um, and say, I know who left that there or I left that there and we may be able to confirm that and that might save those resources. Louine says she's happy people are willing to help but is not putting too much hope into this lead just yet. It gets harder every year because I still don't have no answers. I just don't want to leave this world without knowing who took her and why they took her. If you have any information on this case, you are urged to contact the Utah Cold Case Coalition at 385-CLUE. In Salt Lake City, Amanda Gary, Fox 13 News, Utah.